we're in the workshop today and I'm going to show you how easy it is to fit the AccuSpark system into any points distributor. Um, what we have here is a Lucas 45D type distributor set up in our little test rig. Um, it's exactly as it would be in your car except today we've got the coil running straight to a spark plug to bypass the distributor cap just so we can see what's going on inside. Now, when you come to do the job the very first thing that you really need to do is just to check your ignition timing so we can always go back to how it was uh, when we started. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the AccuSpark H8000 uh, uh, timing light. I'm just going to hook it up to uh, what would be number one spark plug lead on your car. Um, we've got the other end already connected up to a battery. And when I turn the machine on, you might get a little bit of interference. But what this should show us is that the timing on this distributor is currently set to around 10 degrees. Um, so we just turn it on. Bring, the, bring it down to uh, tick over. I'll put the light on and you should be able to see there um, it's 10 degrees. So when we finish we reset the timing back to how it was at the beginning. Okay we'll just turn that off for the moment. Take off our timing light, we don't need that. Just put that round to the back here. Right, first thing we do, obviously we've already got the cap off. Um, we pop off the uh, uh, rotor arm. Now the 45D uh, points are held in with two screws, one on the well, one on the points, which are just going to get out quickly. I'm using a magnetic screwdriver; it's always a good idea. Keeps the screws uh, in place. Just going to whip out now. We're going to whip out the, the uh, condenser. Just whip that out quickly. We've got a little washer there. We're just going to get rid of. Okay. Right now, just pull out the uh, the points and condenser. Actually, I should have just said beforehand, um, just disconnect the low tension wire. But uh, just pop that out now. Put that to one side, won't be needing that again. Now we open up our AccuSpark uh, electronic ignition kit. Just pull her open. Tip your contents onto the table. Okay. Now you'll see in there what you've got here. This is the first thing you'll need. Is uh, a little uh, sachet of heat sink. This is to help the heat dissipate from the module down to the base plate. So just cut the corner off. Take your base plate, uh, take your ignition module. Spread a little bit of uh, heat sink on there, nice and generous. Okay, just put that to one side. We then uh, position the uh, module um, into your uh, distributor. Actually, I knew exactly where that was going to go. But it might be an idea if, uh, before you put the heat sink on that uh, you just work out exactly where it sits because they don't always sit in the same place as the points. Um, just going to pop the screw in there. Nice and firm. Just get our other screw. Pop that in there. Okay. Just take our wires. Um, basically, all the distributors are going to be very similar. They all have some method of exiting the distributor. This one comes out through a little hole. And if you can see that, put the black one through first, then the red one. Um, just push the grommet. There. Now, this next part again varies from distributor to distributor, but. Um, on some you can put a little cable tie just to secure the wires and make sure they don't get trapped in the, uh, in, the in the mechanism. Okay, we just snip that off. Okay, so that's that part. We now have a trigger ring um, which we can pop on there. Just push that down. And um, there is an air gap here. It's not critical. It needs to be about one millimeter or so. Um, but again, it's not, not critical, as long as it's not touching. Okay, um, we now pop back the old uh, the rotor arm. Now for this demonstration, we don't actually need to put the cap back on, because we've got it, we've got it, uh, well we haven't actually, we've got to wire it up, but uh, we're going to have it wired up straight to the coil. So we put a uh, low tension wire from a coil onto the black wire. Okay, and now this particular kit is supplied with a new red wire which we put on there, and we put on the red positive terminal of the coil. Now it's absolutely imperative that you establish that your coil is correctly wired before you start. So the red side is the live side, 
The black side is the negative side which runs to the distributor. Okay, well, we should be all uh, ready to fire up. Um, I'll fire it up. You should be able to see here the spark plug sparking. Okay, now what we do now is we connect up our, uh, our H8000, uh, making sure that the arrow points towards the spark plug. Down. Okay, and you can see now that now that we've fitted the kit, it has actually um, retarded the, the, uh, the timing slightly. So what we need to do is we need to just turn the distributor around a little bit to bring her back round to 10 degrees. Okay, and we're now back exactly as we were, running on full electronic ignition. Um, you can see here, there's no moving parts, nothing to wear out. That's it, job done.